जय श्री राम इट इज ए बुलियन आलजिब्रा कंटिन्यूशन बुलियन आलजिब्रा इज नथिंग बट एन आलजिब्रा ऑफ लॉजिक आई एम ऑलरेडी टोल्ड वट इज बुलियन आलजिब्रा एंड लॉजिकल एक्सप्रेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो हियर how to evaluate boolean expression there are three types one is the truth table method it is already seen in the previous video second one is the perfect induction method and third one is the algebraic method evaluating means simplification of boolean expression let us see what is the second one perfect induction method here either we can substitute zero for literal or one for literal literal means what are the variables in the logical expression see here x into x plus y equals to x it is a logical expression here x is the output and in the lhs we are given inputs x and y are the variable first assume that x equals to 0 for that lhs becomes like this 0 into 0 plus y equals to 0 0 plus y equals to y 0 into y equals to 0 this is the properties of 0 and 1 from this we can get result as x this is what rhs this is the perfect induction method to evaluate an logical expression either we can substitute 0 for literal or 1 for the literal the third one is the algebraic method here i given one example x plus y into x plus z by common multiplication we get here x x plus x z plus x y plus y z after that taking common x as a common we get x into 1 plus z plus y plus y z by using properties of 0 and 1 the result become 1 this means in algebraic method we are substituting basic theorems by that we can get the result to the logical expression next one how to derive a boolean expression there are some general terms to derive a boolean expression first one is the literal literal is nothing but the common variables which are used in the logical expression either it is x as it is or x complement the second one is the min term what is that we already know that logical expression contain number of literals with their or operation and and operation here min term means product of all the literals in the logical system logical system is nothing but logical expression see here Zero is represented as complement. One is represented as as it is in the literals of the variable. Third one is the max term. Max term is nothing but sum of all the literals in the logic system. In this method, we are represent one as complement and zero as as it is. now here we can see that representation of a boolean expression a logical expression can be represented in two form one is sum of product and another one is the product of sum here i given two examples ab plus ac it is in sop form sop is nothing but sum of product form second one is the a plus b into a plus c it is pos form nothing but product of sum form here literals are see here in the sop form literals are and together and in the logical system they are operation is or together here in the pos form literals are or together in same way they are and together in the logical system next what is the canonical form of boolean expression canonical form is nothing but standard form of boolean expression in the previous session here it is a 
expression it is a boolean expression but it was not in canonical form canonical form means in the logical system we must contain all the literals in the boolean expression in standard sop and pos means sum of product and product of sum each term of boolean expression must contain all the literals if there is three literals in a logic system all the terms of sop and pos must contains all the three literals in an boolean expression this is a product of sum and sum of product as well as we can call it as a standard form of boolean expression nothing but canonical form of boolean expression in boolean expression ab plus ac the literal c is missing in the first term. see here only a and b are here so that it is not in canonical form and in second term also we are missing a literal b so this expression it is even a boolean expression but it was not in canonical form means not in standard form here it is one example convert ab plus ac in canonical sop standard form for that we must multiply missing term for each variable see here a b c is missing so that we can multiply both the literal c and its complement to the term a b plus in the second term a c we are missing b so that we are multiplying b plus b complement at here finally by the common multiplication we get a result as a b c plus a b c complement plus a b complement c this is the final result here we can see that all the terms must has both three literals a b c either in standard c or its complement form here another example how to convert a plus b it is in pos form product of sum canonical expression and how to convert this by same method we can multiply missing term and we can get the final output by removing duplicates at here okay duplicate means same terms now let us see canonical form of a boolean expression standard form it contains i am already told that a boolean expression there are some common terms literals min terms and max term here a canonical form of boolean expression means it must contains some min term and max term individual term of canonical sum of product is called min term boolean expression can be expressed in two ways either in sop form or in pos form in the logical system sop form the individual terms are represented as min term okay in other words min term is a product of all the literals with or without bar okay except as it is or its complement within the boolean expression in second one max term individual term of canonical product of sum is called max term in other word max term is a sum of all literals with or without bar within the boolean expression see here x and y are the input given to the boolean expression this represented by the index or denoted by index 0 1 2 3 how we can get the min term i am already told you that in min term variable is complemented when input is low okay in max term variable is complemented when input is high here min term means it is a 
min term denoted by small letter m max term means denoted by capital letter m okay see here x and y are the variables in the boolean expression or literals in the boolean expression 0 0 1 1 and 0 1 0 1 are the input given to the boolean expression we are getting a result this is just for reading purpose or it is known as index here we can denote m 0 0 is the index these are all index at here okay see here x complement y complement this is because of the input 0 0 at this point okay x and y for these literals we are given given input 0 and 0 that's why here min term x complement y complement by this we can see that min term is complemented only when there is input 0 and 0 in max term the literals are complemented only when there is input 1 okay see here 1 1 but in max term it is complemented x complement plus y complement it is in pos form it is in sum of product okay sop form after that how we can write the min terms and max terms for three variable logical expression here x y z are the three variables these are the index min term and max terms are denoted by index here x complement y complement z complement means m0 is represented as three variables are inputs are given as zero so that complement at here here it is literals are as it is written it is in pos form it is in sop form okay see here one problem solve problem is here find the min term designation designation is nothing but index okay solution x y z z complement this is an min term expression what is the designation index of this expression okay see here substitute ones for non barred and zeros for barred letters here x is non barred letter so substituted by 1 after that 0 for x y complement and 0 for z complement because barred letters are denoted by 0 input is 0 then it will be denoted by complement okay the, then we can get binary equivalent that is equals to 100 by this by using binary to decimal conversion we get decimal equivalent equals to 4 thus x y complement z complement becomes m4 means it is nothing but designation of this min term okay next what is the purpose of the index index is used to already i am told that it is used to refer the designation of min term and max term where it is located for all things are denoted by index okay here it is a solved problem some of the min terms of right sop form of a boolean function f okay how you can write first of all you substitute barred letters for zero and unbarred letter for one here see here only you can substitute sop to write sop form if they given one to table then you check where there is input sorry output is 1 after that write the designation for that only min term designation then by putting one plus sign in between each term okay it is one term okay after that here m6 there is output is 1 after in m7 is also there is output 1 for both this one you write the min term form after that only focus on one entry don't worry about these zeros okay 
after that write like this this sigma indicates or summation indicates the sop form of boolean expression same way here it is another one example you can write the same thing here for this one m0 m1 m4 m5 and m7 you want to write the expression after that by adding or operation in between each term you can get the sop expression okay